Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm gonna show you another update on this uh, setup over here, which is the Fluxgate generator setup. Uh, it is already running because, as always, it takes a lot of time for it to get up to speed. My voltage doubler uh, has gone uh, kaput, so I'm now using. Um, um, let's say 16 volt DC at yeah it's almost now impossible to read so let's say below 30 milliamps uh, the difference is now two uh, video before you seen a similar setup basically the same the only difference now uh, I have the magnets over here were in the uh, push mode or a repulsion and now they are in a pull mode attraction mode I have a this side north pole and on this side a south pole I have already the coil in place the system is running for a while now this is the voltage I'm getting EC from that coil 7.6 gonna write it down 7.6 volt AC open coil let me measure the RPM and the RPM is now 1247 the coil in place and open the RPM is 1247 now I'm gonna do a load test. I have now two LEDs because if I use only one it will burn it out immediately. I already wasted three of them yesterday. So this uh, it is the same coil as before but now uh, since the magnets are in um, pull mode or attraction mode seems that the output is better because the coil is the same, the core is the same, everything is the same and uh, this time the speed is even lower because last time I did that with the same coil I was running through that voltage doubler so it's a good uh, progress it does slow the system down you will see in a few moments the two LEDs LEDs are on now, you can see them over here, they're pretty bright and the voltage now is 2.8 that is EC voltage because as you can see I have it hooked up like that I'm gonna show you the amount of light in the dark while the system is decreasing as you can see, yeah, if you compare this to two videos ago when I did the same test with the same coil uh, with uh, double the voltage input um, and uh, with the uh, magnets in uh, attraction mode sorry repulsion mode it was far worse now with uh, about um, yeah, uh, 600 to 700 rpm less the magnets are now in uh, um, pool mode attraction mode the output is far better yeah it's clear to see much better so it seems to me like having the magnets in in pool mode attraction mode is better and the RPM is now 1209 and 8 and seven so it's still decreasing a little bit six let's give it a few more minutes I'm gonna write down not 1200 I think I'm gonna set it down just below 1200 rpm meanwhile I will tell you when I'm done with this one I'm gonna do the same test again with this coil just like in the previous video but this time with the magnets in uh, pool mode, attraction mode. Yeah, 
Yeah, here's RPM 1198, 97. It just went to 97 and 6. Gonna, I'm gonna wait a little bit of a while. And the input is still 16 volt DC. We have milliamp to my eyes with glasses on in <laughs> the milliamp or the um, how do you say that the meter had to move one slight bit but it's very difficult to read milliamps on a 3 amp scale meter I really need to fix that let's check the RPM RPM is now 1190 and 89 sorry yeah 89 it is still decreasing a little bit not much anymore 1188 I'm gonna write 1185 so compare that when the car was open yeah I lost about 15 rpm over here and 74 which is 62 rpm it's not bad while I have pretty good lighting far better than before now I'm gonna short the coil shorten the coil now as you can see zero volts it's gonna drop even more it is now at uh, 1800 and uh, L, not 1800 1100 and um, 80 and decreasing gonna write down 1100 and something hopefully meanwhile like I said uh, in the two previous video the, coil, the magnets were in um, push mode north facing in and north facing in this time this magnet over here is north facing in and this one is south facing in so they are in push mode or repulsion mode seems to give me a far better output and uh, at us uh, about 600 rpm less because in the previous year I was driving it around uh, I think it was uh, between 1800 and 1900 RPM something like that and the RPM is now 1156 now it is shorted 54 53 2 in other words, still decreasing. Gonna ride on 1150 and still decreasing. Otherwise, the video will be very long and very boring. Now I'm gonna remove the coil. And you get to see the RPM without the coil in its place. Like I said, next I will do this coil over here. Should give me even better results. We'll see. And uh, when I'm done with that one, I'm going to modify this setup here again to do another type of test uh, like this one. But you will see. Uh, it's going to take a while as always before it gets to its uh, optimum speed it's now already at uh, 1243 and climbing pretty fast 1240 and 50 when the coil was in place and it was open I had 1247 rpm yes Otherwise, 
Nothing has changed. Everything's still the same. And input. Yeah, still the same. Yes, going for the 1300. Uh, I've done this test already. It will stop around 1375 RPM. We're gonna leave like this. There's gonna be more than 1300. It's gonna stop around 1375. Okie dokie. Gonna end this video now so it doesn't become a very long and boring video. Thank you for watching. Uh, and hope you enjoyed it.